Hey peeps, welcome back to another video. Today's video I wanted to do is a surprise Q&A. Um, recently, I've been asking you guys, do you guys want a Q&A? And I was like, well, wait, I should do a surprise, go through a YouTube video and answer questions and do a Q&A like that. So, that's the type of uh, Q&A we're going to be doing today so here goes the first Q&A comes from and this was on um, my I would say my this one is from the my hair washing video I did how to wash natural hair this is from that video and this question is from Tasha Fly Gal Vic what products do you use before blow drying your hair? I don't use any products before blow drying my hair. My hair is already, you know, washed and shampooed and conditioned real well. And I just go straight to the blow dryer. And I don't, I've been doing it all my life. <laughs> like, ever since I started, you know, washing my hair, doing all that, that's just basically what I've been doing. Just going straight to it. I don't put any products on it. I've never felt the need of putting products right on my hair so I mean I have done you know putting products on my hair after I blow dry but I never really thought of putting it before I actually blow dry my hair you know I always thought you know blow dry your hair and then put products on it but I never really thought of that way I might try something so another question comes from is about my fro and about my fro access that so are you transitioning lol Blow drying upside down, I know the struggle. I, I don't, okay, so a lot of people are really big on natural hair community, right? And, you know, a lot of people would definitely know, you know, about their hair and things. All I know is that I just stopped getting perms and that considered me as being natural <laughs> okay I had got to the point where I just got fed up of doing perms and just going to get my hair perm got so aggravated and I was like I think I want to try something a little bit different so I just said I said to myself you know I just want to go ahead and go natural like just go natural but if I find out the products that my stylist use for my hair, then I definitely let you guys know if it's okay for me to share it on this channel, then I will let you guys know. But, um, yeah. The next question is coming from the same exact video, and it is from Giselle W. And she says, what products do you use to maintain your hair? That question kind of goes back to question number one from About My Fro. But, um, with that... I know my stylist, she put some kind of like medicine in on my scalp and I don't know the, the name of it but she just put like some, some type of medicine for my scalp. It's like a good scalp treatment but she put like a lot of medicine and then drink tons of water. Those are the two advices that I get and it like she have it sit for like a couple of minutes and then once she gets set, settled, everything, she just wash my hair out. It's like a whole big treatment she does. Um, DM Vlogs 5A asks, it looks beautiful. What pre-treatment did you do to your to prior black? DMV Life No. DN Vlogs Life A asks, what pre-treatment did you do prior to blow dryer? And also she complimented it looks beautiful. Thank you. Um like I said in the very first question, I don't put any treatments. You know, basically I just go with the flow, wash my hair, use a shampoo and conditioner. But I do do this little trick here. I take the conditioner, leave it in for five minutes. And what I do is I basically wrap my hair and allow the conditioner to set. I don't know why I do that, but obviously the results aren't showing. But I definitely let like the conditioner set, and then once I do that, I just regularly wash my hair out, like unwrap the wrap and wash my hair out. I've been doing that, and ever since then, I've been loving it. All right, this question comes from my St. Patrick's Day makeup tutorial, the neutral eyes one. Looks like this, you know what I mean? When I had on my green tank, my green shirt. 
Okay, this question is, can you do a few St. Patrick's Day looks? Definitely need some ideas with really vibrant greens and girls. Yes, I will. And that question is coming from Adora Jones. And yes, I will do some looks like that because I am in the stage where I am in the mood for St. Patrick's Day looks. So, I, I, I definitely like do my looks a little bit early. Like, if it's Christmas, I do it during that. Thanksgiving, with Thanksgiving, I do it way before Thanksgiving. I am the person that I like to get makeup looks done early at the way, so I feel like I won't forget. You know, I rather have that done than you know <laughs> not forget anything. So, yeah, and I will be doing some uh, greens and golds. And I have another question. It's from the same. No, that's it. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, I have another question. It's from my random colors makeup challenge video, and it's from Miss Air Bears. Do you ever plan on moving to your own place? Are you more dependent? Yes, I'm planning on it, but when it's the right time to do so, because that's a lot to manage. And if you're ready, you're ready. If you're not, you're not. And I'd rather wait and be successful and doing well which I am successful now but if I go out there and be successful as far as maintaining bills and money and things I don't want to get out there and get excited and get scared and be like oh I should have rethought about this or had I don't want to have those ifs I want to make sure that I'm 100% ready financially ready and also mentally ready to do that type of living but until then I will be staying here and uh, get my my coins up to where I can be financially ready to move out okay um this is from my um what video was that um uh, with the white eyeliner look <laughs> um this is from that video and it says from legendary beauty can you do a red valentine's day look uh I think I'm done with valentine's day looks I think I have similar ones in the past so if you go back to my 2016 Valentine's Day list and I believe I've done a red one. But um, I am now kind of focusing on a little bit of St. Patrick's Day and get ready to do my spring makeup looks. So yeah. And this question is from Sean Nice Rice. It says, uh, can you do an updated foundation routine for 2017? I will definitely be doing one soon because I want to try out new foundations and also test them out. And have a different method on things and see what the foundation looks like and things. So I'll definitely be doing that. So those are the questions that I have for you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see another question answered, then, F I then you know what to do. <laughs> Send them below. And then I'll definitely be doing some more question and answer videos soon. So, yeah. And I gotta go. And I will see you soon. And check out A Day With D. That's my second channel. Bye, guys. Hey, peeps. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my jewelry rack tour. Yes, I said that correctly. A jewelry rack tour. Um, I have my jewelry rack, and I love it. It's on my door as of now, but I've been having it for a while, and I think a jewelry rack is great for any girl, <laughs> any jewelry and bag.